Hi guys, welcome back to The Contented Plant. Today we have a philodendron birkin. This is a very pretty plant. It has variegation running through the leaves, kind of in a pinstripe formation. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about the care and how you propagate it. So let's get started. So the philodendron birkins are native to South America. They have a tropical care that they want to follow. So what they like is a very humid, warm environment, and they like the soil to be kind of moist, but you don't wanna make it so it's drenched in water all the time. It is a member of the aeroid family, so they don't like their roots to be super wet all the time. They can get root rot. So if you'll notice, the newer leaves on here don't have any variegation at all yet, but as these leaves mature, they get that pinstriping on them. So this big mature leaf here has the most variegation in it. It also responds to its light needs. So if you have it in an area that is extremely dark, you're not gonna get a lot of variegation. The variegated areas don't absorb, photo; they don't photosynthesize very well. So what's gonna happen is your leaves will start to come out green and they won't get a lot of variegation because the plant needs to better photosynthesize to survive. So the variegation in the philodendron birkin was actually kind of a genetic mutation. So it was almost an accident that they started to become variegated. Some leaves will not get as variegated as others. It also kind of depends on how their stem is. You can see this one has a nice light stem that has lots of variegation in it. Some of the stems down here are a little darker green. I don't know if you can see that and they don't variegate quite as well. So to propagate this plant, you need to take a stem cutting. And what I would do if I was gonna propagate this particular plant is cut it right down here. There's a tiny little node down here and an aerial root that's kind of coming out at the base. And to propagate it, you would chop it right underneath that node point there. And the cuttings can just root in water, like kind of like a pothos plant. You could just stick the cuttings in water for a few weeks until the roots come out. This plant is a little bit slower growing depending on the conditions in your house. So what I like to do instead of moving it from its nursery pot, if there are no roots coming out of the bottom, then it does not need to be repotted. And you can just stick it in a decorative pot like this. So it looks like it's in a pretty pot, but it's actually still in its nursery pot. So these plants, you're only gonna need to water once every couple weeks. Um, you're gonna wanna do the water test. So you take your finger and you kind of stick it down in the soil. This soil is very moist because it was recently watered, but you wanna put your finger down about knuckle deep. And when you bring your finger out, you can see there's quite a bit of dirt and moist soil on my finger. So this plant does not need to be watered. It's probably good for a couple more weeks. If that soil is bone dry down to your knuckle, then it is going to need a little bit of water. You're gonna to wanna to keep it in an environment that has good humidity. Um, you're gonna know if your plant's happy or not. If it doesn't have a lot of humidity, then the very tips of these leaves can start to turn brown if it's too dry and it wants a more humid environment. And for that, you just buy it a little humidifier that can sit next to it and it will keep the plant nice and happy. If you overwater this plant, the leaves will start to turn yellow, they will look sick, and at that point you would need to do probably a root check, and I would take the plant out, take all the soil away from the roots, and make sure that your roots aren't starting to rot from being overwatered. This will want to be planted in soil that has a good amount of air moving through it, so you can put some orchid bark in your soil, potting mix and perlite is what I would do and what I like to pot most of my aeroids in. I have a couple other videos that I will link to that I'm potting other aeroids in. They're a little bit of a special category. They like dry conditions, but not too dry. They like to be moist, but not too moist. So if you give them kind of a special blend, it usually can keep their roots happy and it will also save you from needing to be too picky with their watering. So this plant wants to sit in a bright, indirect light spot. You can see I have two windows on either side. This would be a very happy spot for this plant to be in. You're not gonna want it to have direct sun sitting on these leaves, or you will notice that the leaves will start to fall off. Um, this is because if you're trying to mimic the natural environment that it grows in, which you should for every plant, if you mimic the natural environment, it will keep the plant happy. 
but it grows in basically a tropical forest. So lots of heat, lots of humidity, but lots of shade and bits of light coming through from the canopy of the rainforest. So it's not used to having huge amounts of direct light on it. So keep it in a bright and direct spot and it will stay happy. So this is a philodendron. A lot of philodendrons trail, but this one does not. It will grow about three feet tall, three feet wide at its maximum adult height. So I will have a care guide available on our website that I will link down below. If you guys have any more questions about the philodendron Birkin, please leave them down below. I would love to know if you have this plant and how you like it. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time at the Contented Plant. Bye-bye.